Well, guys, just seemed like kind of couldn't get in a rhythm there after you know charging back in the first half. Just you know, what uh, what did they do well tonight, or what did you guys feel like you struggled with out there? Oh, you know, we, we weren't being aggressive on um, offensively, um, but you know, it also was on the defensive end. Um, we couldn't get stops whenever we needed to. That's really why we couldn't get over the hump because we kept out and kept you know putting them on the line there getting to free throws. You know, um, it's hard to play defense when somebody has, has free throws. You know. Second half, where we just where we just couldn't get stops. You know, um, we were scoring the ball okay, not well. Um, but whenever we're having those days like today, when we're not shooting the ball well, we have to play amazing defense to win the game, and that's all we did do. This was also frustrating. I mean, you mentioned the defensive stops, but despite the poor shooting, you guys got to the free throw line 42 times. You made 31, but make a couple more here and there. You know, maybe it's it's a, it's a dip, the, the game's a little different. Is that a little frustrating? Even though you got the yeah, line sure. a lot. For sure. it's, it's definitely frustrating knowing you could have done something and you didn't do it. Um, yeah, you know, we had our opportunity. Yeah, I think we missed 11. Um, and, you know, if we made six, we win the game. Six of those win the game. Um, but we can't blame it all on free throws. We can't blame it all on one possession. You know, it was the whole 40 minutes of basketball. They were the best team. Hey, you know, 56 fouls, call the game, 71 free throws. Is it tough to get in, any, in a type of rhythm when when it's when a game kind of goes like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's the new NCAA rules. So some games like that turn into a free throw competition. It's, it's kind of annoying, honestly. Um, I mean, even guys on their team, they were saying to me at the free throw, man, like, why can't the refs just need to let us play, you know? And I was agreeing with them, you know? Sometimes it's frustrating because it's – it's stop, go, stop, go, free throw competition, you know, um, when instead of just a fluid game, but yeah, it is. I know a lot of times when you guys struggle on offense, you talk about it starting on the defensive end, but during some of those long droughts there, was it just, you know, not being aggressive enough on offense, or what do you what do you guys feel like kind of led to those, you know, especially the two really long droughts? I think we, <coughs> we somewhat got selfish on the offensive end. Uh, we didn't get the ball moving to hop and try to pass and play for each other like we normally do. Um, when we do that, it, it's tough to guard us, but when we start having the ball stick on one side, it is well, teams can play to that, and then we're taking difficult shots, and then it still comes back to defense. We still got to get stops because our best offense is in transition, and we're not getting stops, either fouling or they're getting buckets. It doesn't help us either. You guys feel, I mean, I know it's just been just the last two games, you guys feel like you're you're kind of in a funk right now, uh, and if so, what, it, what has to happen for, it to, for you to snap out of it? I'd call it a funk, just, um, I don't know what to call it. I think it's just, uh, on, it's definitely on us. It's not the coaches. Um, they've been giving us good scouting reports, and there's just been too many mistakes. I think it's just combating mistakes um, yep. on our part that uh, we need to fix and we need to address and uh, <coughs> take more seriously. I think you know you guys have another one of these kind of like bye. You won't play again until next Saturday. Is this coming at a good time based on these last couple games to to maybe work on some of those things? Or what are your thoughts on that? I mean, to be honest, I'm a competitor. You know, I play every day, but you know, if I can, um, yeah, you know, uh, this this week, you know, we'll, we'll get to the things that we need to work on. We will harp on those. We will work on those things. We'll be able to play by Saturday. Was the locker room talk after this one sort of similar to the last one after New Mexico or kind of a different message after this one? Or? Everybody just needs to take, take, take this game personal. Everything that I didn't bring to the table, they still be out and bring to the table. Everybody needs to look in the mirror and see what we've done wrong, um, bench included. Thank you.